In these problems, we are finding the prime factorizations of numbers using this technique called division by primes. And the way I like to do this is with something called upside down division. Let's take 21 for example. So 21 is our first one. I'm going to divide this by something, but I'm going to make my division symbol upside down. And I'm going to pick a prime number that I know is a factor of 21. I know 3, it's divisible by 3. So I'm going to put 3 here. That's prime, so that's good. 21 divided by 3 is 7. I put the answer down here, and I end up with a prime number. 7 is prime, so I can actually stop here, and my prime factorization is 3 times 7. And that's my answer. Let's try this with a, a one that's a little harder. So we've got 68. So 68, I know it's divisible by 2 because it's an even number, so I'll start my upside down division here with 2. So 68 divided by 2 is 34, and I'm going to divide that by something as well. So 34, well that's even, I'll divide by 2 again, and 34 divided by 2 is 17. And at that point, I might need to double check to see whether 17 is prime. It is, so I've got 2 and 2 and 17, that's my prime factorization of 68. So that's a little bit of work with division by primes using upside down division to find prime factorizations. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at Edvisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can find us on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.